Welcome to our English language preview of Saturday's big game at 7 p.m. at the Sapambri FC Stadium against China FC. China were promoted from Division One in 2011 after finishing second. In their first season in the top flight, they came 14th, and last season reached 10th place. This season, the club are famous or infamous for having one of the most unusual kits in world football. A kind of gingham meets tartan meets television static certainly makes them stand out. The club had a very busy pre-season transfer window, bringing in 15 players and selling eight. High-profile arrivals included Artit from Chombri and Watsapol from Bangkok Glass, whilst departures included Michael Byrne to Ayutthaya and Trinidad and Tobago international Kendall Jagio Singh. Coach Surachai Jatrapatrapong is a highly respected former Thai footballer who was part of the golden generation, alongside stars like Zico, Kiatasuk Semanwang, and now national coach and Chombri legend Turdsak Chaiman. In a four-year international career from 1997 to 2001, he won four gold medals at the Southeast Asian Games three times in succession. From 1991 to 1996, Surachai played at the Thai Farmers Bank, where he won league championships in 1994 and 1995, and the AFC Champions League. In 1998, he joined the Stock Exchange of Thailand, where he played until the end of 2000. He then moved to Singapore in the S League for Gombak United. The club withdrew from the league in 2002, and Surachai went back to Home United. There he played until 2005, where he ended his club career. Players to watch out for: Vice Captain Nopo Putafai had two spells with BEC Tero and signed from Bangkok Glass in 2012. The 29-year-old defender has also played for Thailand three times. Valerie Hayek played 61 times for Singaporean powerhouses Home United before making the switch to Thailand. 28-year-old midfielder Artit Suntompit played 168 times for Chombri, and captain Samanya Purisai has represented his country 13 times. There are also two players with unusual careers. Six-foot-three defender Sion Power has played 39 times for Trinidad and Tobago, and started his career at a club called Joe Public. 30-year-old Serbian winger Marko Perovic. Has played 92 times for Red Star Belgrade and also had spells at FC Basel and New England Revolution. There's one Sapambri FC connection. 32-year-old striker Somjet Satavud was born in Sapambri but never played for his hometown club. Last season, China finished in 10th place with 10 wins and 38 points. This was four wins and 13 points less than the War Elephant, who finished in fourth. Surprisingly, China scored two more goals in Sapambri over the season, but they conceded 12 more. This season, the Hornbills are currently 12th with 19 points, which is five fewer than Sapambri FC. They have five wins so far compared to Sapambri seven, one more drawn game than the War Elephant, but the same number of defeats, four. The Hornbills have scored eight less goals than us, but conceded two less. On Wednesday, China beat Samut Songkran 3-1, but lost 4-1 away in their previous match to Bangkok Glass and 3-2 at home to BEC Tero. Before that, this has been a rather stuttering opening to the league campaign, starting with a 2-1 away defeat to table toppers SCG Mengtong United. They beat Army United in their second game, but then went on a sequence of three draws and a loss. They enjoyed three consecutive wins against TOT. Police and Songkla, but seven points from the last fifteen available shows how they just can't seem to put a strong sequence together. Last October in China, the Hornbills inflicted a heavy three-nil defeat on us to revenge our two-nil victory earlier in the season in Sapambri. So we look forward to seeing a big crowd on Saturday as we warmly welcome NHK Japan to our stadium for a 7 p.m. kickoff.